because the drugs they found were not mine. If you've been set up, we'll find a way to prove it. We're gonna find out why they're so lovey-dovey, those two. They were hypnotized. I'm seeing someone. Who, Flash? If you were so into her, then you wouldn't look at me the way you do. This won't stop until he's destroyed these women he thinks betrayed him. I'll protect you with my life if I have to. Police's house would be the best oh. place for me to be right now, you know? It's just... Bo's house, but you know, it's mine too. We'll straighten this out, Al. Well, the only way to do that is to find out who put those drugs in my room. Well, we already know who did it. It was that loser, Brad White. Tell me the name of the song that I have to sing to bring those lovebirds back to their senses. I think I need a refill first. Not another damn drop. You know, full ownership of the Foxy Roxy's hair haven is very tempting, but it's not quite as good as the million bucks that I'm asking for. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give you a million bucks. You are a joke. Oh, I'm a joke, am I? Well, honey, my lips are sealed. Well, look at over there. Look at the two lovebirds. I can't believe that I let you coax me out of our little love nest. Wherever you go, there shall my love nest be. You don't have to speak. So where did you find this specialist? That producer guy introduced you to him? Look, he's totally legit. Riley went with me. He's worked with lots of singers. Some big names. Do you 
trust him? He's a doctor. I think between the two of you guys, I'm covered. Well, you ready to go? Oh, gosh, I totally forgot. Right. I don't mean to bail on you, but we have a date. Okay? Hey, hey, no problem. Yeah, I got stuff to do. I can't believe I'm going to a country club. Ooh, I hope you remember to start your bathing suit. <laughs> Shut up. Last two years ago. I've been out of town. You can be reinstated if you pay your back dues. Front desk. Yes, the Victoria Davidson Gala for the banner is all arranged. Now, if you'd care to pay. Yes. Someone is certainly going to pay, but it's damn well not going to be me. Are you any closer to finding Mitch? Well, we're following every lead possible. I'm sure as soon as the commissioner has some information, he'll give you a call. I, I still don't understand how he got in here, because I know it was him who stole the picture. We'll find him, Vicki. <laughs> you guys are horrible at pretending that everything's okay. You're talking about Mitch. I don't want you to worry all the time, that's all. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a prisoner in my own home, okay? I'm really looking forward to this party. Good. I'm glad you're going. You've been cooped up too long. No talk to the investigation, okay? Promise? Good. Promise. Good. I'll have a good time, okay? Uh, don't worry. She'll be taken care of. Stop it. You're a guest today, not a cop. <clears throat> I'm always a cop. any time expelling me. I didn't get a chance to defend myself. Oh, Al, and after you, you work so hard to pull yourself together and get your grades back up. We're not gonna let everything that you worked for go down the tubes. So I can follow Brad, catch him dealing, and then get proof for the commissioner. No, you won't. At least not without me. <laughs> You're a good friend, Marcy. Well, she's uh, a little more than that, Dad. Actually, uh, Marcy and I have been dating. Oh. I kind of figure. You know what? Marcy is on the right track here, okay? If we can figure out where he's dealing, we could probably get something to use against him. Uh, I, I think you ought to take this to vote. The commissioner has been putting pressure on the university about these drugs for a long time. That's why they were cracking down. You couldn't look any more guilty than I do. I mean, they found the drugs in my room. The commissioner has to do this by the books. But we don't. <laughs> Right. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait a minute. Slow, slow down here. This could be extremely dangerous where the drugs are concerned. Listen, all we're gonna do is watch him. We see him doing anything illegal, we call the cops, we let them deal with it. You promise? Yes, Dad. I, Mom, you have nothing to worry about here. Yeah, you know, we could, um, check out the country club. That's where all the rich kids hang out there by the mm -hmm. pool all summer. Well, yep. if this guy is so rich, why is he dealing drugs? Because he gets a kick out of it. You know, his rich little friends need a little something. He slides right in there and supplies it for them. Hold these a second. His last referral was of yours really paid off. I think you'd be more grateful considering you almost got shut down. What do you think I'm cheating you, Rex? Oh, of course not. Everyone knows what a saint you are. Whatever. So, what do you think? It's just like the country club I used to go to. Growing up? Oh, no. 
see, when I, I left home, I used to wander around and see different places. Sometimes I climb over a fence late at night and check these places out. It was always so much better without all the yuppies in their golf carts. So you used to break into the club? No, I didn't break in. I never actually went inside. I like the grass. I like to sleep on it. And I loved the pool, you know, the, the way it sounds when you're swimming alone. I kind of feel the same way when I sing. What? I just like learning new things about you. And remember, you promised after this you'd tell me your real name. I'm getting a little worried that you haven't told me yet. I am gonna go put on my baby suit. <laughs> How's the rescue mission going? I don't know what you're talking about. You know, that's your thing, right? You're saving people? Like you did with me in that theater, so... What are you saving Flash from? Jen, Flash and I are just... You friends. are a long way away from the community center, aren't you? Actually, they're doing a raffle here to benefit the new uh, daycare center at St. James. Yeah. Well, we knew it must have been something, because you and I both know that can't take the heat. Uh, so, uh, how long are we gonna stay? I went to your party. Can't you just relax and enjoy mine? Oh, this isn't exactly my scene. Your scene? No, you know what I mean. Haven't you been here before? Does it matter? Is this reverse prejudice? No such thing. <laughs> okay. So you're just being prejudiced then. <laughs> you're gonna have a rotten time if you don't just drop it, relax, and enjoy the party. Look, Jessica, you tell me this is your world. I, I mean, come on, do you sit around all day working on your tan? Mm -hmm. You're sipping cosmopolitans <laughs> and your really white tennis outfit? <laughs> no, that's not me. Then who are you? I'd really like to know. Well, what's your strongest lead for the late edition? I think we should go with Sumner's resignation. I don't care how busy Mrs. Davidson is, my Hold on. Dorian Lord, she's going to see me. Just one moment, ma'am. <clears throat> Mrs. Davidson? Yeah, it's all right. Let her in. Look, George, you go ahead with that. I'm going to have to call you back, okay? I hope you're satisfied. Yes, Dorian. As a matter of fact, I am. Do you have any idea what you've done to Star and to Jack? You've taken away everything from them. And what is Blair supposed to do now? All I have taken, Dorian, is what belonged to me before your, what we laughingly call a marriage. I haven't taken a thing from Star and Jack. They are the beneficiaries of Todd's trust. And actually, thanks to me, they now have that back. They have everything they had before. Be that as it may. It's the second time you have robbed me of what is rightfully mine. Go away and don't waste my time. Todd is missing, and as long as he is nowhere to be found, his assets are frozen. Well, I'm very sorry about that, but Blair's going to have to contact her own attorney, all right? There's absolutely nothing I can do about that. Oh? You're his nearest relative. You can have him declared dead. The honeymoon suite has just been vacated. We could take a break for an afternoon of love. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. Asa, are you not feeling well? Mr. Buchanan has the absurd notion that we were hypnotized into falling in love, and only a certain song will remove the hypnotic suggestion. Oh, Asa, how typical of your Texas-sized ego to assume that I couldn't possibly fall in love with anyone else. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy, Yankee Asa, Doodle. Asa, if you don't stop, I'm going to have you thrown out. You could at least try to carry the tune. But is that it? Oh, Nigel, my darling Nigel, I simply adore you. And I, you, my divine, Miss Divine. <laughs> Thank you.
Hey, big guy, you're gonna have to sweeten the pot a little if you want me to dehammerize those two. <laughs> Hello. Have you got a guy named Mysterio that works over there? He's a hypnotist. I don't want to leave a message. I've left a dozen messages. I want to talk to Mysterio. Let me guess, Asa. Mysterio is taking his act on a worldwide cruise, and he didn't leave a forwarding number. You're new. You must think I'm a lot dumber than I look. And you know, Asa, I'm your only hope. And you know, I was thinking of taking a little vacation, too. And I might be gone for quite a while. You know that little itty-bitty detail about that song that's gonna make those two fall out of love? Well, I can't guarantee that it's not gonna slip my mind. I left a message with Evangeline Williamson. She's supposed to be the best defense attorney around. I just never wanted Al to get mixed up in anything like this. Well, if he didn't do it, he's not going to prison. You don't know that. The evidence is stacked against him. Max, we know that he's innocent, but how many guilty people have you heard say, oh, I was set up? Bo is not going to let Al go to prison for something he didn't do. I wouldn't be so sure about that. He's so wrapped up in this Mitch Lawrence case at the moment. And besides, not too long ago, when Al was in a bad place, he gave him the benefit of the doubt about something, so I don't think he can do it again. Well, look, come on. Let's not get us ahead of ourselves here. Let's just take it one step at a time. The only thing we can do right now is be positive and support Al. I mean, look at Marcy. I don't think she's going to let Al down. No, I suppose you're right. Well, that didn't sound very enthusiastic. Uh... No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm very pleased. I, I really am. Marcy is, she's terrific. She's very helpful and she's very smart. And she certainly does care a great deal about Al. But? I just didn't realize that she was his girlfriend. The word he used was dating. Yeah. If this gets more serious, is this a problem for you? I just, um, always pictured Al with a different kind of girl. Oh, oh, you mean the, uh, glamorous type with the good family, father's a doctor or a lawyer, mother's got a great career? Max, is that so awful of me? No, but it sounds just like Jen Rappaport. And look where that led. Also, see Brad anywhere? <laughs> Dude, um, what, are you gonna buy right after you were busted? The drugs they found in my room weren't mine. Yeah, sure, but the words of the railroaded don't lie back down on the tracks. Do you know where he is or not? Yeah, he's, he's around here somewhere. So, what's the story with you and Al? Um, we like each other. Well, yeah, I kind of figured that out when I saw you guys doing it in your dorm room. We're dating, okay? That is so weird. Why? Because someone who liked you would never be interested in someone like me? No, because you guys hated each other before. Jeez, you're so touchy. I'm sorry. The truth is, this whole dating thing, it's new to me. I'm happy. Good for you. Thanks. Hey, you know, I hope that you find someone, a good guy, soon, too. I do, okay. Rex is a jerk. If you ask me, he brings out the worst in you. Are you working this part? <laughs> Get lost, Brad. <laughs> I didn't think they let hookers in here. Well, guess what? I'm not a hooker. Oh, really? Because mm -hmm. I seem to remember paying for a hotel room and a couple of bottles of champagne in exchange for something. That you didn't get. Yeah, I remember that too. So what does that say about you, Brad? You can't even get sex when you pay for it. Uh, touche. Is everything okay? Yep. Just one of my stupidest mistakes catching up to me. I was there, remember? I know things have gotten a lot less desperate for you since then. Thanks to you? No. 
You did it yourself. Well, you've changed a lot, too. When I first met you, you were super priest. You were pushing that do-good thing way too hard. Really? Totally. I mean, you thought you were gonna save the world all by yourself or something. That bad, huh? Not bad, just preachy. I and mean, when I looked at you, all I could see was this big collar, like a big neon sign saying you're not good enough for me. What do you see now? A guy. A really good guy. There's obviously more to my life than country clubs and parties. I mean, I work at the gallery. I'm gonna have a career in journalism like my mom. But I understand growing up with money afforded me privilege. Yeah, but it certainly never hurts. And I appreciate that. But... <sighs> Do you really think that I would have been much different if I hadn't grown up without well, money? I don't know. Do you? Listen, there are good people and there are bad people, regardless of what class you're in. And the same goes for the people here, okay? Look, Jessica, I just like hanging out with you. And if this is where you want to be, then I'll adapt. Ladies and gentlemen, fourth prize goes to number 72. Oh my God, I won. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. You gotta be kidding. Looks like you and Bruno have a new roommate. Yeah, I may have to move out. I can't believe this. I never win. And lately, that's all I've been doing. Must be my influence. Yeah, I guess so. When I'm around you, I feel lucky. You want me to have Todd declared dead? No, there's no proof. The evidence would point to that. What evidence? The fact that he's disappeared, he does that all the time. This time, it's different. How? Mitch wanted Todd out of the way. That's why he framed him for Sam's murder. It's obvious. Mitch wouldn't have done that if he thought that Todd could ever come back. Blair thinks that Mitch buried Todd alive in Victor's sarcophagus. Well, he didn't, because the police opened it up. Oh, so Mitch moved the body. Come on, Vicky. Todd's obviously dead. There's no chance he could have lived through something like that. Oh, come on, Dorian. People survive all kinds of things. For heaven's sakes, there's no way Mitch could have survived what you did to him years ago. There's no way Mitch could have survived his fall into the Lantan River. P people survive things. I'm not giving up on Todd. That's your prerogative. I think it's a little strange that you want to live in some kind of dream world. What about Blair? Has she given up? Does she think that Todd is dead? Yes. As a matter of fact, she does. Why do you think I'm here? Well, all right. Maybe I'd like to hear that from Blair herself. Oh, wait a moment. She's out of town just You now. are such a liar! This isn't even about Blair. This is about you and money. You just want money. You want Todd's money, anybody's money. No, not anybody's. I want my rightful share of Victor Lord's estate. Yes, I'm entitled to it, and you owe it to me. You have already had your half of Father's estate. It is not my fault that it's gone, so I don't owe you one thing. How dare you come in here and ask me to have my brother declared dead? I pray to God that he comes back. And until I know for sure that he never will, I am going to wait for him to walk through my front door, which is actually where you're going right now. Oh, no. I'm not going anywhere. If you do anything else to hurt me or my family, you will have the fight of your life. I don't care if the whole town is behind you. I am going to get what I'm due. Dorian, for once, for once in your life, couldn't you show a little concern for somebody else? Mitch Lawrence is after all of us. He is hell-bent on making all of us suffer. Whose fault is that? He was working with your father. He wanted your daughter. You think this is my fault? You were working with him. You married him. That was only so I could see that he was punished for what he did to Cassie. Oh, what a load of rubbish. You started this whole nightmare because you wanted Lanfair back, and you wanted it back so badly that you made a pact with the devil. And you had his baby.
My knees are weak. Shall we have a little lunch and go upstairs for dessert? That is enough. You two are turning my stomach. You need to watch your reflux, sir. How... How could you possibly fall in love with this, this... Man of my dreams? Have you lost your cotton-picking mind? Asa, he makes me feel like a very desirable woman. If you two don't stop pawing each other, all your customers are gonna run out of here and never come back. It is disgusting. How dare you speak to the woman I love like that? I will speak to her any damn way I please. Not in our restaurant, you won't. Get out. What the hell did you just say? You heard him. Get out. Leave. Ha! Fine, fine. I'll go upstairs to my poker suite. Oh, no, you won't. Huh? No, I am banning you from the entire hotel. I gave you this damn hotel and I divorce. And I have a right to refuse service to anyone I want. Would you like me to call security? Something rotten this way comes, shall we? Hmm. I could name that tune in three notes. All right. I will give you Foxy Roxy's and the damn building it's in, plus the apartment upstairs. Now you're talking, baby. Now come on, snap out of it. Tell me the song. All I want is for Al to be happy. Well, then maybe we should let him make his own choices. You're right. You're also right about Jen. She was horrible. And Marcy is a... She really is a very sweet girl. You said that before. I just have to get used to the idea. That's all. Maybe it's silly, but I've... imagined for a long time... who Al would fall in love with. And um, it's just gonna take a little... little adjustment. It's okay. Just... Don't say a word, Al. Oh, of course I wouldn't. Look, I, I, I get where you're coming from. I really do. Gabriel, you're a beautiful, sophisticated woman. You know, it's, it makes sense that you would want someone just like that for your son. Do you think that she makes him happy? Yes, I actually do. And I'm happy for him. been trying to get the kids at the community center off drugs. Yeah, I've been trying. Unfortunately, I'm not always successful. Well, Brad's one of their suppliers, you know, so if we could get rid of him... Well, what I'm asking is if you would be willing to help us shut him down. I'd love to. It's just that I've never actually seen him do anything illegal. Yeah, I mean, when he shows up at the garage and deals, we never see it. I mean, if I had some proof... I'm sorry, guys. I'd love to help you out. Oh, well, I better get back to the gallery. I have a new artist that I have to interview. I thought you said no work. I said no cop work. Oh, but I'm sure you're just devastated that we're leaving. Crushed. <laughs> you know, this was so nice. I mean, as soon as classes start this summer, I'm gonna have absolutely no time to relax. Really? You're taking classes and working? Yeah, I have a couple incompletes from last semester. Oh. Well, I hope you don't devote all your time to those courses. Brad the pig. If you need help bringing him down, I'm in. Hey, Joey. Hey, sis. How's it going? What's up, Jess? Hi. Um, I heard about what happened about the arrest. He didn't do it. The guy that did, the real dealer's over there. Yeah, listen, I, I know that it sounds crazy, but those drugs were mine. I, I was definitely set up. Oh, I believe you. I, I mean, I've heard about that guy around campus. See? Everybody knows, so why can't you arrest him? We'll see, Marcy. Look, I got a couple things set up based on what Marcy told me. How can they make you pay for something that you didn't do? Well, 
I guess I'm just gonna have to throw myself on the mercy of the court and hope that the judges believe me. Let's get out of here. See y'all later. Bye. 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 See ya. Alright, you guys have nothing to worry about. Thanks to Antonio, we should have all the proof we need. Mitch raped me. Vicky, you've had so many personalities. Who knows who he raped? Get out. No. Fine. I will have you thrown out. George, I have to call you back. Please. I'm deeply flattered that you spend so much time talking about me. But please don't argue. That's so unattractive. And in the end, none of this really matters. Because even though you don't know where or when or how, I intend to finish off the both of you. And this time, there won't be any mistakes. Let's see. Uh, Foxy Roxy's hair haven, the whole building and the apartment. Yeah, man, I think I can live with that. It's all settled then. <clears throat> First, you gotta sign a promiscuity note. Promissory? Yeah, well, whatever. I owe you. Excuse me. Sign it. Tell me the name of the song that'll snap them out of it. Hey, you know what? I didn't get to be an entrepreneur by being dumb. You know, and then you fork over that legal mumbo-jumbo, I'm gonna sing like a canary. I will have my lawyer draw up the papers. Could you, like, maybe give me an hour? Hey, barkeep. Champagne, please. Hey, get out of my sun. You're gonna lose more than that tan pretty fast in Statesville. What are you talking about? I know about this little deal you've got going with Brad White. No, don't look over there. You can't know we're talking about this. Okay, I don't know where you're getting this from, man, but I don't have any deal with anyone, okay? Yeah. I've got witnesses willing to testify that you hooked him up with Brad for drugs in order to get a little, uh, piece of the pie. But I'm not gonna turn you in. Mm. Mm, why not? Because you're gonna help me bust him. Well, I can't believe a priest is blackmailing me like this. Don't think of this blackmail. Think of it more as self-preservation. I have to do. Police are coming. How did Mitch know we were here? Well, I don't know, Dorian. Maybe he saw your car in the driveway. No, 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 no. He knew what we were talking about. He could hear us. I don't know. Maybe he planted a microphone here when he took the picture, Jesse's picture. Which picture? Mitch has broken in here since I moved back. How? I don't know how. He went blind. The doctor said he would never recover, but he did. He, he was, he was supposed to be dead twice, and he came back to life. All right, will you calm down? He could be anywhere, right now, watching us all the time. I mean, he's not human. Yes, he is. He is evil, but he's human. Aren't you afraid of him? No, because that's exactly what he wants, and I'm going to try like hell not to give it to him. And for your own sanity, Dorian, I would suggest that you do exactly the same. Because like it or not, we are in this together until we get Mitch Lawrence out of our lives for good. Okay, you gotta promise me you're not gonna win any more prizes, all right? I'm, uh, I'm gonna end up running out of space. Let's just go inside, okay? Right. 
stay tuned for scenes from the next one life to live.